Welcome back to another Classic Car Studio build video. This episode we are doing the F600, just came in. It's a big 600 series uh, flatbed grain truck, standard cab. We're actually gonna stretch the cab, stretch the floor, and make it into a four-door truck. So with that being said, we gotta build the floor, the back wall, the two rear doors, and the roof skin. Jam will wrap around because I can show you on this door. See how it's longer in the you got the edge of the jam, and then there's an extra piece here. Yeah, that's what that is. This door skin wraps around that. Ah, okay. So this piece would be where the latch and shit is, and this goes on there. Now the skin can wrap around that like a factory goes. Very cool. Trying to make it look somewhat factory, but crazy. That's yeah. Funny. Lots of pieces, lots of trial and error. I think we're rocking and rolling now.
Moving on to doing gaps. The gaps are coming off a little bit raggedy up here at the top because the original Ford kind of leaned forward. Doing a crew cab, we straightened up the rear doors so you can see the gaps, they don't follow the door anymore correctly. So I gotta address this before we start building the roof skin. What I wanna do is make that gap even all the way up and around the corner. So we're gonna have to cut this out, fade this body line away because we will no longer need it into the new roof. We're shaving the grip rails. But at the th same time, the main thing is to keep that door gap at 3 16 even up around the corner and that'll give us a starting point to do our roof. So on this side, we have the same doors, just on the opposite side, we've already done the work. We got the, the gap made into the door and it's following up around the edge of the door. Now we have a starting platform to continue the roof skin. We took that factory body line, it goes around the window and faded it away. So it fades to nothing. pillar so what we got to do is add a whole bunch of roof structure into this thing so that we don't get flex going down the road and the roof be buckling and what the, what's going to happen is when the doors open normally you'll have a pillar here on a car with your latch and everything but what we're doing is we're building a structure on the top and on the bottom that's actually going to hold cadillac latches the latch will fit down inside there just like that and when the door swings shut it'll latch into their top and bottom but we got a lot of strength put back into the roof right here. So it's almost like a subframe for the body so that nothing kinks or flexes when we put the roof skin on and we're driving down the road. We got the sides of the roof all made up. Now it's time to fill in the big center hole. What we're gonna do is actually shape a front half and a back half. They're a little bit smaller that way, easier to handle. We're gonna do all that on the English wheel to get a slight compound curve because no roofs on any cars are flat, especially this Ford truck's actually got a little more curve to it. So we'll, we'll get the front and the half and the back half done and then we'll weld them together We'll planishing hammer all that out, hammer and dolly everything nice and smooth, and it'll be ready for the body shop.
So everything on this truck is one off, all custom made. So we gotta have custom made door handles too. So we bought billet handles from Fat Fender Garage. They make Ford billet handles. And what we're gonna do is weld a bunch of metal to them and actually weld the left side and the right side together. And then we'll cut them in half and that'll be the left or the right side's front and rear door handle. And when you shut the doors, those handles will come together and be tongue and groove. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.